Excuse me, sir. <sighs> My friends and I wanted to ask you something. I was just wondering if you heard about the almighty powerful Arceus. You're taking too long, sweet Let me handle this. Sir, have you heard about our lord and savior, Arceus? Accept Arceus or die! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Entei, you did it again. You scared another one away, man. Really? I, I thought that was actually pretty good. Sorry, guys. What is going on, guys? This is Dobbs here, bringing you another Pokemon video. And well, you guys definitely wanted the next timeline video as soon as possible because the response on the first video was incredible. We got a thousand likes within the first hour and right now there are over 10,000 likes on that video with less than 100 dislikes. Like that is just insane. And don't even get me started with the requests because I'm getting them everywhere. So it seems that you guys really like this series. So I wanted to make sure that this video has the highest quality so it can live up to your expectations. And if you're sort of lost right now, I have a series where I'm going to go over the complete history of the Pokemon world from the beginning to the present time. So if you want to check out the first video, just click the annotation on the screen or look down below in the description. And just like last time, the more likes this video gets, the faster the next episode comes out. So enough of my blabbering and let's get started with the video. It's 300 million years in the past, and the Mew population has decreased drastically. Most of the Mews have evolved into different Pokemon, suited best for their environment. But the number of different Pokemon are growing. In the deep sea, Kabuto, Kabutops, Omnite, Amistar, Relicanth, Tirtuga, and Karakosta are all flourishing and growing at a rapid rate. Karakosta is named the father of turtle Pokemon because of the amount of different turtle Pokemon he gave rise to. The same is happening on the land. Pokemon such as Aerodactyl, the ancient form of Genesect, Anorith, Armaldo, Archon, Archops, Lilip, Cradilly, Cranidos, Rampardos, Shieldon, and Bastiodon are all inhabiting this new Pokemon world. Just like Karakosta, Archops is given the name the father of bird Pokemon because of all the birth Pokemon that originated from Archops. 200 million years pass, and no major event has happened since the epic battle between Groudon and Kyogre. But then suddenly, a meteoroid hits the Earth and annihilates a bunch of Pokemon, making most of them go extinct. Another 100 million years pass, and signs of human life start to exist. During the Ice Age, Pokemon such as Swindub, Pilloswine, Mamoswine, Amora, Aurorus, Tyrant, and Tyrantrum are all widespread, and the coexistence of Pokemon and humans start to exist. The first major religion is born. The ancient people worshipped Regigigas because of how powerful it was. But soon the power of Regigigas starts to frighten people. So they decide to seal him away, along with the legendary titans. While sealing the Pokemon, the ancient people put spells on the caverns in hopes that one day, a powerful trainer can decipher these codes and tame these Pokemon. 7,000 years pass. Some legends say during this time, the original dragon Pokemon was split in two. The original dragon being a fusion of Reshiram and Zekrom. This powerful dragon was used by two brothers to create the Unova region, but each brother sought different things in life. One being the truth, and the other being the ideals. As they begin to argue and fight on who's right, the ultimate dragon Pokemon splits in two, with Kiram being the leftovers of the two dragon Pokemon, and the second major Pokemon battle begins. The two dragons were evenly matched. Neither dragon could conquer the other, Reshiram being the master of fire, and Zekrom being the master of electricity. As a result, the two brothers set aside their differences, and equally declared that neither one of them was right. But in this process, Reshiram and Zekrom destroyed the region, making Unova a wasteland for thousands of years to come. The year is now 3000 BC, Civilizations and Kalos start to have a conflict, and the first major human war begins. Many Pokemon are sent to fight against each other, resulting in many deaths of Pokemon. The tragic war causes a Filete to pass away, and is sent back to his Pokemon trainer. This trainer happens to be King AZ, and out of unspeakable grief, he builds a giant device to restore it to life. This device sucks out all the energy of the Pokemon, and in result, the King and Filete are granted eternal life. But he was still unable to overcome this despair, so he turned the machine into a weapon and destroyed both sides, ending the war. 
This weapon was so powerful, it actually caused a split in the universe. In one version of the universe, the firing of the weapon caused normal stones to become mega stones, filled with power. In the other, the weapon was never fired, meaning that mega stones were never formed. A thousand years pass. Continuing in universe A, a plague of meter showers reigned all over the draconic people, turning their home place into the meter falls. These meteors contain a ton of natural energy, and this natural energy was so powerful, it awakened Kyogre and Groudon after millions of years of being in a deep slumber. They realize they both require the same primal energy, so they begin the fight once more. After absorbing more and more of this primal energy, they eventually change in their primal forms, bringing the Pokemon world to the brink of destruction again. The ancient people of Hoenn pray to Rayquaza to come down and stop this fight once more. Rayquaza descends from the sky for the first time in millions of years, and the spiritual energy from the prayers allows Rayquaza to perform the first mega evolution in Pokemon history. This newfound power allows Rayquaza to stop this epic battle, and Groudon and Kyogre are sealed away for years to come. Rayquaza is then worshipped by the people, and it is named their savior of the Pokemon world. 2000 years pass. The year is now 150 BC. Brass Tower burns down to the ground, killing three Pokemon inside. These three Pokemon were believed to be Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, and are revived by Ho-Oh into legendary beasts. And what's next you may ask? Well that's for the next episode, because we're in the recent history era. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like if you did, I spent a lot of time in this video so I appreciate it a ton, and remember, the more likes we get, the faster the next episode comes out. And also, if you're enjoying the channel, be sure to subscribe, and if you want to follow me on Twitter for fan interactions, video updates, and other cool stuff, follow me at Ethan Dobbs. And for the question of the day, who is your favorite ancient Pokemon? Be sure to leave it down below in the comments, I can't wait to see you guys have in mind, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya.